Now what I was doing in my house, I'm the person who put my signature. I'm just trying to tell you this thing. And I want to tell these parents who are around here, do it. Do it. When someone said, uh, you want to marry your daughter or a person wants to, to marry your son, you don't get married to your son. You don't just need to approve. I'm sure you understand that. You don't need to, you need to pray a lot. Pray a lot. You need to pray. When someone says, I want to marry this person, I want to get married to this one, and this, it happens to be your children, you must do what? Pray a lot. So you don't know whether you are bringing Satan or you are sending your, your daughter to Satan. Especially in our country now, whereby someone can just take a knife and step, step, and step and kill. We need to pray a lot. If a person is having money and we arrange that person because of business or money, we don't know what we are doing. I told my children, my children, marriage is not money. So you must never look at people by what by standard. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. Eh? Because listen. If you do that, you miss life. Life doesn't go by what? By standard. You must pray a lot. And children must listen to the parents. When your parents differ with you, agree and pray. Don't conclude. When someone comes and say, I want to marry you, and your parents say, I don't want something like this. I don't trust this person. Don't conclude. I'm sure you're hearing me. Because there are many people. Here the husband doesn't love God. Here the wife loves God. Here the, the, the woman doesn't love God. Here the men love God. Problems everywhere. Problems. You people must pray a lot. God bless you. And uh, I'm referring to you. I'm referring to you. I'm seeing your daughter there. I'm referring to you, sir. Pray a lot concerning this girl. You hear me? Yes, Apostle. Pray a lot concerning the girl. Yes, Apostle. Satan want to Satan want to enter and trip the girl. Amen. So we need the right person. The pastors. The girl must marry a Christian. Amen. If a person comes and says it's a Christian. You have to evaluate a person. You must check. You evaluate, you pray. You hear, Mama? And your daughter, where, come. Where's the brother want to marry you? He's around here. Where is he? Come. What's, uh, come. You see this? You see this? This is that is happening. You must never accept it. I'll tell you a reason. Even if this boy were to marry your daughter, they must never be in front of you being two like this. This respect, it doesn't start after marriage. It starts before. You see this boy want to marry your daughter. Eh? You start now with this boy. You scrutinize, you check, you pray. But before Lobola come and your daughter is standing like this with, your boy, with this boy in front of you, you need to deal with this thing. Because the relationship must be hidden. I'm sure these people are hearing me what I'm saying. Yes. Eh? Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, this must never be approval and it's final. Apostle, today is the first day we hear about it. 
You didn't know. You didn't even know they're together. No, sir. My God. Oh. Mm. So now they are sitting together. Wire, 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 wire. See that. This is something that you people must pray a lot. I'm not saying, I'm saying this with, with love because not for the love of this girl only, also for this boy. You understand? Amen, Daddy. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, Daddy. This must never happen. Look at the chest there. They're sitting together there. And they are sitting like this. Amen. Amen. And you don't know. You are here. You say, hey, hallelujah. And uh, at the end of the day, this brings disrespect. The conclusion of it is sin. Yeah, the conclusion of it is sin. Already, there's a problem. I just try to tell you that. Because that's why I said, we must not rush. If this boy wants to marry this girl, I'm giving counseling. And I'm not telling you only. You people, you are good people. Even this boy is a very good boy. But I'm trying to tell you now that this that we have done in Charis is not good for us. Also, it's not good for you. If you're a boyfriend and a girlfriend, why do you sit close to each other in the church and the parents are here? You were supposed to hide. Another one sits there. Another one sits there. When pastor is preaching, you look at each other like this. <laughs> but what, what if mama can find out or baba that you were together in the church? Is it not a disrespect before you are even married? You hear what I'm trying to say, my boy? Yeah, yeah I'm hearing you. Yes. So that's why I say, mama, pray a lot. Amen, daddy. Yes. Pray a lot, sir. Yes, Apostle. Yes, yes. We love this girl, we love this boy. Yes, Apostle. Right now, the boy, the boy wants to marry. They uh, say he wants to marry this girl, the girl wants to marry this boy, but there's still confusion here. But because there's this confusion, they need another one must be there, another must be there, and wait for God's time. And then if this confusion can be solved by this sin, it's us. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. Yes, yes. yes. Sin will result. The moment when you sit close to each other like this, like, like this, yeah. like, what makes you to sit like this? Okay, go and sit. God bless. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. How do you sit very close to? And the parents are here. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Ah, she has shifted. <laughs> Remember, I'm not saying this boy is bad. I'm not saying this girl is bad. This boy is very good. But already, this journey will lead to more sin. I'm sure you're hearing me. So we must cancel it now. God bless you. Let's bring people.